Uh, side benefit, if you will, of this warmer weather is the long-awaited annual pilgrimage to the banks of the Wolf River has begun. The fish are there, and so are lots of people. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has more on the sturgeon spawning in the waters near New London and Chiocton. People line the banks to catch a glimpse of the underwater giants. Bruce Conrad says he's impressed. I'm just awestruck. It's amazing. It's the first time Skip Willis has seen the sturgeon spawning run. They just kind of sweep through the water, come up, and every once in a while you see a tail or a head come up out of the water. Usually one to two days before they actually start spawning, the males will be cruising up and down the rocks, and we saw that yesterday and even, even Saturday evening. Historically, peak sturgeon spawning on the Wolf River has taken place between April 15th and May 1st. With it being a little bit behind the average year for spawning, I anticipate we're going to have a short, intense spawning season. Crews spent the morning netting fish by hand. Biologists say information gathered Monday will guide future management of the fish. 58.7. We'll get the length of the nearest tenth of an inch. We also determine whether each fish is a male or a female. Technicians check for a microchip. And it's just a little chip that we inject underneath the head of the fish and the fish will have that tag for the remainder of its life. Ryan Koenig says about 20% of these fish have been captured before. Just upstream in Chiocton, sturgeon are moving through Bamboo Bend as well. The DNR says these fish will only be active at a given site for one or two days. But if you want to get out and see some fish spawning, I suggest doing it over the next couple of days because it's going to go fast. Depending upon water temperatures, it'll be five to ten days before the fry will hatch, and then usually it's a roughly a week period that the fry will be um, in the rocks yet. In Chiacton, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. A link to information about where the sturgeon are, plus more information from the DNR, is available online in the Newslink section of fox11online.com.